In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at some of the other functions of the Perspective Grid tool. So let's choose the Perspective Grid tool. First time you choose it, it should come up with this window. Now we might want to choose to work with a um, one, two, or three point perspective. So if we go to the View menu, go down to Perspective Grid, you'll see we have the, the ability to change to one point perspective, and we can still have the same options where we can move our horizon point, our horizon line rather, we can change where our um, vanishing point is, and we can change how wide out that grid might go as well, which is kind of nice. I mean, kind of how close it will go as well. And so as you zoom in, you'll see a little bit more detail in that grid possibly. So there's a lot of cool things that you can do here, and we can change basically how close that grid is. And there are a lot of different things. Let's go to the View menu and go to Perspective Grid 3 point. Right now, the perspective grid is using a nadir, which is our um, lower third point, uh, point perspective, but what about if we wanted to use a zenith? We can take that line and drag it up the other direction. Might just have to keep on letting it go straight up for a while. There we go. Now when we come back down, you might notice that things have disappeared on us. So that's just something you have to kind of get used to when you just start this process. It's not going to make everything look the way you want. But with a little bit of playing around, you can find the right points to allow you to bring that stuff back up so that you can get the proper three-point perspective that you want. And of course, if I moved that, it would kind of change a little bit. Anyway, um, that's how we might be able to use those different perspectives and of course there are some other drawing things that we should know about now when we are on the regular drawing tools um, this is with the regular perspective grid tool um, used we can click and drag and we are going to be dragging of course a along whichever um, perspective that we have chosen so I'm going to choose the orange perspective here and so that works but what about if I want to move things around let's say that I have a box here and I want to be able to move this box to another location well I'm going to make it pretty obvious that we can see it as I start to drag you'll notice that it doesn't automatically snap to the new perspective but if we go back to the perspective grid tool and we hold down we can go to the perspective selection tool and that allows me to actually move this object and even move it with the, the Alt key and the Shift key held down, and then duplicate it, possibly. And you'll see that each duplication will actually be in that 3D perspective. So I'm going to duplicate it back to the right, and you'll see that it's actually duplicating it in the proper perspective. So this also works for objects that you might um, do outside of the perspective, such as, let's say that um, I turn off my visibility of my grid, so I'm going to turn off the visibility of the grid. I'm going to go to the Type tool, type in Building, and I'm going to make it nice and big here. So right now you'll notice it's not in perspective, but I want to put it in the left side of the perspective. So I'm going to cut this, go to the Perspective Grid tool. Let me make sure that I can see that. So I'm going to choose the left-hand side. I'm going to paste and you'll see my object is there. Now I'm going to go back to the selection tool and as I start to drag you'll see it will automatically snap to the correct perspective. So you can even take things like logos and snap them to the perspective that you need. It's pretty powerful. And of course you can draw um, things into this shape as well. So as, as you normally draw it, you'll see that it doesn't really seem to be in perspective until you start to drag. Now this is live text, which is not going to snap correctly, it seems, um, until I go to the right tool, and then it works just great. So it's it's a pretty powerful tool to be able to go to the per, um, perspective selection tool. Now other options that you might want to look at are showing the ruler, snapping to the grid, locking the grid, um, maybe even defining the grid, and you can even save this grid as a preset so you could do another drawing in the future using the exact same settings. So this is a really powerful addition to Illustrator and I hope you enjoy using it. Thanks.